All right, breaking news on the Puerto Rico primary. We are now ready to project a winner with 11% of the results in now. And there it is on your screen right there. Mitt Romney is the winner in Puerto Rico. 20 delegates were at stake there. They haven't been allocated yet, but 11% are in. And I think the results are 82%. 82% for Mitt Romney, uh, and there we go, 9% for Rick Santorum, 3% Newt Gingrich, Ron Paul, 1%. What does this mean? How are the delegates, how are they going to be allocated? How is it going to stack up? Where is everybody now when it comes to delegates overall? David Frum, Maria Cardona, join me now live. They know a lot more than, than I about all this, uh, Maria. So I will be, I'm not being sexist, but ladies first. What does this all mean? Do we, know, we don't know the allocation of the delegates here, but uh, talk me through this. Where might, how might they allocate them, and what does this mean for everyone? Well, it looks right now as if Mitt Romney has such a substantial lead, and, and the way that the delegates will be allocated, if he gets 50% or more, then he gets all 20 delegates. It's going to be difficult, I think, for him to get less than 50%, given the numbers that we're looking at right now. And also given the support that he has on the island, the governor of Puerto Rico, Luis Fortuño, is a big Romney supporter, so clearly he put his machine to work in favor of Mitt Romney. And then also I think he's being the, he's the beneficiary of Rick Santorum's big foot in his mouth earlier this week when he was yeah. in Puerto Rico pushing English only as part of the condition for statehood. And when you go down to Puerto Rico to talk to the quote unquote Republicans down there, the Republicans are the statehooders. And so I think not understanding that Santorum, and in fact in keeping with his conservative principles, said what was on his mind, and it was not what was uh, poli the, the politically correct thing to say. And so I think Mitt Romney has also been a beneficiary of that.